Hey guys, so I've just made some homemade chips. So just a fresh potato I peeled and I chopped, then tossed it in a bit of olive oil, salt and rosemary. And then I tossed that into the air fryer. And the hummus I actually bought ages ago and then I put some leftovers in the freezer just to trial out and see if the texture changes after defrosting it from the freezer. And I know I think some of you guys said the texture changes. I find that the hummus is exactly the same. So the texture hasn't changed at all for me. It might be the brand of hummus that I bought. So I am definitely a fan of that because I normally buy the one kilo type of hummus. Um, obviously you don't want to waste it. So if you can't finish it, put it in the freezer in a Ziploc bag. And I've pulled it out today to defrost to have with my chips with a bit of jalapenos on top and it's perfect. Alrighty guys, I'm just going to show you the ingredients. I've got some defrosted pork mince that I've grabbed from the freezer. I've got some fettuccine pasta, some of this fennel, fennel seeds that I'm going to be using, some cream cheese or cheese spread from the jar, and some sliced jalapenos. I'm going to put all of this together and I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. So guys, this is the finished product. I did add in some onion. So onion, pork mince, the pickled jalapenos and chilies and the fettuccine pasta and also the cream cheese spread in the jar. You know, the one in my stockpile haul, guys. That's it there. For you to get it to that um, melty texture, just pop it in the microwave for a little bit. So I basically cooked the pasta, spooned a bit of the cream cheese on and then pops the whole thing in the microwave for like 20-30 seconds. Hey guys, so I've just microwaved some of the frozen broccoli and then I've marinated my chicken thigh in that Arabic spice mix I got from Woolies. It was marked down half price to a dollar. I think it was the Arabic shatuk spice mix and I just pan fried it in a little bit of olive oil as well. So that's my quick simple meal. So guys, to make the base of this soup, I just boiled the barbecue chicken carcass from Costco with some salt, added in some onions, some pasta and mushrooms. I'll show you what it looks like when I finish. So guys, this is the finished product. I did add in some of the shredded barbecue chicken meat towards the end just to heat it up a little bit. And I like to have the bow tie pasta in this soup purely because I just like the texture. You can add any pasta or noodle in um because it does really add to the meal and it's a good filler and yeah so this is my meal so guys this is what i'm having for dinner today i just cooked the scotch fillet from costco some mashed potatoes and some frozen broccoli from coles i've just cooked my steak and a bit of bacon fat and that's pretty much it so guys, I already started eating, but I thought I'd just film and show you guys how I like my steak cooked. Um, so I prefer it medium, like this. So guys, I've made a really, really simple soup. It's just literally hot water, miso paste with a bit of seaweed and some zucchini. I feel like having a super light lunch and I wanted to pack in some veggies, so I'm just going to have miso soup with, with zucchini and you can also poach an egg in as well if you like um, but this is all I'm going to be having today for lunch. Here's my loaded mashed potatoes with the streaky bacon I got from Costco guys. Simple mashed potatoes with some butter and milk tops it up with some cheese, jalapenos and chilies and bacon. Hey guys, so this is one of my favourites. It's the Costco Instant Pho. It comes in a box of 12 and I think it was $14.50 or $15. So it works out to be, I think, $1.40 a packet of, um, a bowl of these noodles, roughly. So super tasty, nice, quick and easy when you don't feel like cooking dinner. So check it out at Costco. From memory, it was $14.50. For a box of 12. So let's just say $15 max because I know for sure it wasn't more than $15. This is another Shin Ramen, I guess, noodle take, guys. <laughs> Noodles, zucchini, canned mushrooms, and poached eggs. I actually added in a bit of spam at the bottom as well. 
That crunching in the background is my dog enjoying his kibble. So excuse the crunching in the background. <laughs>